performance here. You came here wanting a P1 and a P2. It was P2, P3 on the grid, and you've come out with a P4 and a P6. I know so much of the conversation now will be about tyres, and certainly the, the decision as well for the hard tyres when it looks like it wasn't working. Uh, talk to me about the reasoning behind it, uh, the explanation of, of why you put Charles Leclerc on that hard tyre and how much understanding you have of it at the moment. I, I know that as far as we are certainly frustrated because we are hoping for a better result. More than that, I think we are frustrated because the car was not working as we were hoping so today. And uh, yes, we may start discussing strategy, but I think the strategy is a consequence of the fact that the car was not working well and then the tyre is not working as, as they should be and finally the strategy. So uh, we stopped for the higher, hard tyres because 30 laps to the end, we were protecting position on Max. We knew that with the hard we would have had some warm-up issue a couple of laps, then they would have been sore to the medium for 10, 11 laps, but then it was still a long stint and they could have come back. But overall, they didn't work. The reason off, I think, is again to be looked into why the cars today was not working as we are hoping for. If we look at Carlos' race, same strategy of Lewis that finished second, but we finished behind. So overall, I think we didn't have the speed today. And, uh, and I think it's where we need to put our focus to understand why. As I said, if I look at the entire season so far, it's the first time it's not really working. There should, there should be a good reason for it. Especially at a track that, I mean, everyone said really suited Ferrari. So there's no understanding from the all side of the garage at the moment as, as to why the car simply didn't have the pace today. Yeah, it's sweeping to Ferrari, but we know as well it's always very tight and very close. And uh, sweeping means maybe one tenth on one side or one tenth on the other. But overall today, we, the, great, the, the speed was and the pace was not great. Uh, drivers were suffering as well, uh, driving on balance and setup. So I think we need really to, to look at the data. I don't think there is much we can do. As I said, find out the reason and move forward from that. And while, of course, you guys suffered with the pace and suffered with the tyres, Red Bull managed to come from P10 with Max Verstappen to P1. I mean, is this championship over now? I don't know if the championship is over. He did a fantastic race today. I think starting from 10th, finishing first, it's uh, obviously well done to them. Uh, I think it's still a long, a long way to go. We need to focus on ourselves, try to, to improve, because certainly there are weaknesses that need to be improved. And um, let's see, step by step, race by race, as, as we did in the first half, we try to focus on ourselves. There is as well the Constructed Championship, where I think it's not over at all, and there is much to come. All right, great stuff. Thank you very much, Matthias. Welcome. Enjoy your summer break.